No, I was gonna say, do we want to do it? I'm gonna Hell yeah! It's only a veteran. Bring this one Ghost down. trick or treater, that's so cute. What are y'all doing? Ah, oh, we're just playing around and, and, you know, farming stuff and killing stuff. We're not, we're, you know, it's kind of faffing around until Tiquaddle shows up. They're being pansies and running away. Yeah, little punks. I'm gonna kill them. <laughs> don't you, don't you show your back to me! Yeah, the, the little quag and ghost, he's a cute little thing, isn't he? Yeah. How did you get that? I bought it. I've had him for a while though. What would you buy it on? Just the uh Yeah, yeah, on the on the I think I traded in gold for it. I mean, uh yeah, for some gems a long time ago and the gem. Yeah. I was he's old though. I've had him for quite a while. I just I like to pop him on when I'm excuse me, when I'm uh during for Halloween and stuff, you know. Oh, you Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's, there's a picture of what, the, what he's working on. Yeah. Brother, I uh I had to take our trucks in for service, right? Um uh this week and uh the guy who the guy who did the service, he's got a holy shit, I can't remember what this is now. He's got a basically it's got three it's got six doors. It's a six door truck. Things got probably like uh Oh shit, hold on. There we go. Six door truck. The thing probably has like uh, uh, it's probably got like a freaking like a four inch lift, five inch. I don't know. It's really high up off the ground. Uh, huge tires. It looks like a, a like a Cummins turbo diesel that that they. Uh, it's like all custom made. It thing is beautiful. It's the hugest truck, bro. And like he uses it to tow, uh, which what is essentially a mobile home. <laughs> You know, so he goes camping and stuff, and he's like, "Yeah, I bring our house with us." And he like showed me around inside. Dude, this thing is like a proper house. It's got like a like a full mini kitchen, like like a, you know, it's not like a hot plate and a, you know, a mini fridge. You know, it's like an actual, you know, small fridge, but a full fridge. You know, it's got uh, TV, satellite dish, all that. This thing is. I was like, "Damn, this is pimping, bro. This is glamping to the extreme." <laughs> Let me see here. What you got here? Dessert. Hey guys, how's it going? What up? Oh shit, dude. <laughs> Maybe I can finally catch up to you. Yeah, I'm gonna haul some hay in that. <laughs> You're gonna haul some ass in that. Good God, look at that thing. Fastest 40s tractor ever. <laughs> Man. Bro, that thing is a freaking machine. Dude, the turning radius is gonna suck on that thing. <laughs> Hell yeah. I think it's funny after I mine the or if I after I uh, cut down the trees and your little harvester goes after it. Yeah, he's like, ah, he's going after a, a just a stump. Yeah. You want to, uh, you want to initiate? We got a few minutes. You want to initiate this little quest here, little event chain? Yeah, yeah. Sure, let's do it. Yeah. Gotta go rescue the Hylic. Yeah, there's the pipes he's putting on. Svitar. That thing is gonna be so loud. Quintal have refused to join us, but if we liberate their tortured kids... Yeah, there was a, a truck when I was in high school. It was... I don't know what can lift, but I was 6'2", and I was able to walk under it. Damn! Wow. That is a lifted truck. <laughs> all, all I remember was a red Chevy, I forgot, maybe an early 2000s model, and it was huge. The tires were as tall as I was. Yeah, my uh. Probably got three miles to gallon in <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had a uh, in high school. I had a '68 El Camino with a 396 in it that got about freaking seven miles to the gallon. I think 
That thing was fast as fuck. <laughs> Had a big old cam in it too, so it was just like run, to run, to run, to run. Thing was beast. Oh, it was Chevy's white. Yeah, El Camino was Chevy, right? Yeah, yeah. So Ford and Rancho was there. Ranchero was the was the equivalent. Not bad looking. I mean, they're okay. Uh, but I much prefer the Chevy model. I think they're much better looking, especially the 68 because it still had the uh, the metal grill on the front. Uh, after 68, they went to a plastic one, and it looked a little bit. It was fine. It still looks pretty, but it, it's just something about having a metal, you know, all metal stuff. And it had a black vinyl top. That thing was. So, oh God, pardon my language, miss. It was a chick magnet. I was gonna say something else, but you know what I mean. Like it was like yeah. Yeah, my neighbors, they have a El Camino. It looks like it's mint. They never use it. It's, it's a... I want to say it was... I can't get it right. Blue with white racing stripes down the middle. Very nice. And I never see them move it. Yeah, I love El Caminos. It, <laughs> most of my friends used to make fun of me be like, Oh, you got half a Chevelle. Like, shut up. <laughs> I was never a fan of the El Caminos. I just don't... Yeah. I mean, what what is it, a car truck? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's it's it was designed initially as um, y you know, just as a working class vehicle. Like they actually came out in like nineteen, I want to say nineteen fifty eight. Oh, dang! They came out in like nineteen fifty eight, and that model, dude, you should look that up sometime. It is a beautiful machine. Like it just has these nice wings down the side, like they did in the fifties, and it, it's just a gorgeous vehicle. But, uh, you know, in the 60s and stuff, they had the muscle car movement, and so they started moving it more towards, uh, you know, a, a speedier version. Like, they had different different levels. The 396 SS that I had was a numbers-matching SS, so it was an original. Um, and it was, you know, that one was designed to be more of, like, a, a, a track car, but most people used it um, to tow, like, other cars. <laughs> you know? Can you imagine how much it's worth now? What, my El Camino? Yeah, the car you had. Yeah, yeah, no, I gave it to a firefighter across the bay because uh, he was my dad's friend, and I just didn't have the money to give it a proper restoration. And, I mean, it's it was one of, like, 1,400 cars, dude. It was super rare, a super rare El Camino. Uh, my neighbor ha it was the original owner. He had it since, like, you know, whatever, 70 or something. Um, and uh, used to use it to tow his... Uh, it was a 63 Corvette, a beautiful silver 63 Corvette. Um, and he just had it sitting in his yard, and I used to do a bunch of yard work and stuff for him. Did he ended up selling me that shit for $3,500. That thing was worth seven just sitting the way it was, you know? And right now, it's probably worth, it's probably, like, the way he restored it, it's probably worth, like, 40 or 50 Because he did a ground-up restoration, like, frame-off just absolutely gorgeous restoration job on it uh, and it's it's show car status yeah, if I were to restore a car it would have to be a 69 Challenger yeah those are nice cars Mopar or no car right yeah I would shove a Cummins diesel in it <laughs> that's awesome if I could I would put a Cummins diesel engine in my riding lawnmower <laughs> that would be amazing you have to have like the most reinforced axle in the history of the universe of any riding lawnmower ever. <laughs> would go flying. I would have the wings on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got like a. F it would literally rip the wheels to shreds if you tried to start it. Like you tried to move. I would. Yeah, put one in a. Uh, Oh, they're a nightmare court apparently. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Since their engines suck so much. Get him healthy. Come on, hit me. I'll hit back. Oh, God, I made the most delicious, like, egg and potato, onion and garlic thing today. It's just like, ugh. So good. Any nightmare for it? You last might make me right. Wow, such nightmare. Wow. Many plants. Wow. Nick them. 
Well, this is kind of fun. I mean, we're wrecking these dudes. I like your sword. What kind of sword is that? That's cobalt. That shit's cool as hell. That's a precursor? Nope. Precursors don't look that cool. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I'll have to go for a legendary weapon at some point. Is that is that a legendary weapon? What, uh, dust? No, the one that you have. Cobalt. Like no, this gold. is just an exotic. Yeah, it's like four gold or so. How much? It's like four gold. It's not Ooh. Bad. Dude, I should buy that. That's a cool looking sword. I didn't know it had flames. I liked it because it was blue. <laughs> yeah. I like... I wielded it and it had flames and I was like, oh yeah. I was stoked when... Uh, this sword dropped out of Tequadal that I'm using right now. Um, it's Tons Claymore. But it looks pretty. It's got neat little things on it. But it's got Sentinel stats. So it's like very good for... It's not Soldier, which is what I want. But it's still... I think that's what I have. Yeah. It's still f pretty much what... what, what uh, is it? Power, Precision, Toughness? It is... No. Uh, that's nice. It oh. is Power, Toughness, Vitality. But it's it favors vitality over power and toughness, where a soldier one would fight favor power. I should probably change it then. <laughs> oh, that's right. I can take this and select its stats, can I? Uh, you can change your stats, yeah. You can miss right, 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 yeah. right. You need, you need a weapon, the um, the weapon, the insignia you want. The thing from the chick by the Mystic Forge and like mm -hmm. five ectos. Okay, that's cool. I got all that stuff. Hey, there's a uh, platinum over here. Did you get it? Uh, no, I should. You knucklehead. That's why we're doing this. How dare you try to do something else? <laughs> I lo dude, dude, I love this little this little nerd lover coming out of the ground like. <laughs> I like the sound effect that you make. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite. I like, I make sound effects. That's what I do. I'm gonna get some gems though, and I'm gonna. I can't decide. I think I'm gonna get gems and just buy both of the Halloween packs. There you go. And I'll be like, "What's this on my credit card?" Uh. <laughs> <nothing>. <laughs> early birthday gift. Tell them it's an early birthday present. Wow, I'm happy. Oh, this stream looks so good. It's such a pretty color. Like it's like looks looks really nice. This game is just so pretty. I was yeah. Impressed. That was one of the things that drew me to this game, especially considering you know Guild Wars One versus Guild Wars Two. Like holy shit. Yeah, Guild War. I've watched some videos of Guild Wars One. It looks like a lot of fun, but yeah, graphically, um, it looks like a game that came out in 2005. <laughs> Which is when it came out. I think. That's what I, that's what I mean. It looks. Yeah looks like how a game like that would look in that e in that era. Oh yeah, sure. Sure. I remember uh I didn't I've not it's not that I've never played World of Warcraft. Um I played it for a while and uh I got up to like level I think 40 and I just kind of was like, "Meh, this is boring. I don't like it." Uh, but I remember the first time I the guy, I was a dark elf, um, night elf. Night elf, thank you. Night elf. I want to say like assassin dude or whatever. Um, rogue. Rogue. Yeah. rogue. There you go. Thank you. That was the only class I would ever play. I refused to play anything else other than rogue when I used to play. Right. Well, I remember. St I. Red gone rogue. I mean, come on. No. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, I just remember the first time I, I went into their home city and just looked around and was like, wow, this is a big game. <laughs> but this is the first MMO, this is the first MMO I actually ever got, like, into. You know what I mean? Yeah. Glad you did. Hell yeah! Me too. Huh? Said it wouldn't be the same without you. <laughs> hey, likewise, man. Like this is uh, you know, got a good team here, bro. It's a good deal. Bruh. Look, man, I'm a Californian, all right? I can get away with that. <laughs> I could call you dude. We say that a lot, too. It doesn't bug me. No, dude. Ah, it's a it's a term of endearment when I say it. <laughs> 